What's cracking, fam? It's your boy Black at you. Back at you in a short video. This video's gonna be about Tupac versus Biggie, the debate. Everyone's gonna say who's the greatest rapper of all time. Who do you believe is? Both from New York, Biggie Smalls. From New York, Tupac Shakur. But California won like adopt Tupac like I did theirs, but now we're not having that shit. New York City, number one, right? But anyway, Biggie Smalls. There's no way in the world that he can be the best rapper of all. He has only two albums, two albums with lots of commercial success. But the, um, what's the one he made? Born Again, they went double platinum. And Ready to Die, they also went platinum. But you look at all, see, record sales, album sales. Tupac has over 40 million album sales. To Big has this about they 21, 21 million sales, right? That's just of that deal for sales. We're not talking about Tupac greatest hits and all this other stuff that there's more and more. So therefore, you know, Pac has sold millions and millions, which made more than Biggie, because Biggie didn't have enough time in the game. But why is that? Puff Daddy, you know, Puff Daddy did that to him. And he released his album, but they about two weeks after he was killed. So therefore he gets all this money and Biggie Smalls get nothing. And I'm sure um, Ms. Wallace has been shortchanged. We know that, right? But anyway, if you have the battle between Death Row and Bad Boys, who won? Who you think won? We know Death Row had demolished Bad Boy. Bad Boy had great artists on their on on team. You had Biggie, Faith, 112, D Block, and many other artists they had, but they all left. They all left. But Death Row, their crew stayed intact. You know, they stayed intact. Plus, how can you say Bad Boy had won the battle when? Death Row ran through all the bad boy women, huh? ran through all their women, you know, as far as Tupac. Tupac had, had all their women. So therefore, I can't say that um, they won. There's no way in the world they won. If a man comes there, fucked his wife, Mary J. Blige, Puff, um, Puff Daddy, old woman, did Shook Knight hitting on um, Kim Porter. Come on, man, what's that deal? It was like they was having fun, you know? Them, them, the bad boy women were not loyal, you, and they were suckers out there saying to go out there. But you must also look how Shook Knights nice had um, Kim Porter. They call him back to L.A. Even Puff Daddy Mom's calling L.A. to her. She wants to see her grandkids. They put on a plane, throwing the kids out, saying go back to New York to see them. So therefore, there was no kind of loyalty right there, right? But if you look at it now, as time goes on, 25 years go on, Kim Porter mysteriously, mysteriously dies, you know? Like, what's the cause, you know? We ain't see too much good real mourning from this dude there. He's throwing parties and all kind of shit like that, right? I always say it's a suspect to me, you know? I think maybe she's gonna do a, um, a tell-all book on him and expose all the things he's been doing. And that's something we know that he doesn't want, so I believe she was deleted, you know? I hope not, but I'm saying that's my opinion. I believe that she was deleted, you know? But like I still tell you like this is, there's no way in the world that, um. Bad boy, they can't they, they can't compare with um Death Row to me really. They for us music making music and fun wise, yes, cool. But we're talking about for us album sales and staying true to their crew and for us sticking together as a team as a unit. Death Row, Death Row guys, of course we know they got it. Mary J. Blige, all these bad boy for us bad boy artists. What are they all doing inside of L.A. if they were loyal to the label, huh? If you're out there getting, getting trains ran on them, Mary J. Blige and all these girls and happen, it's like this here, the swag win and the money win. And they felt like, oh, I guess, Pup Daddy had a swag because we know he ain't got no goddamn swag. We, we know that, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, death row win, that's my opinion. What's your opinion? Do you think Bad Boy defeated death row? If it is, you're a goddamn fool. And if you believe that um, Biggie Smalls is better than Tupac, you must be goddamn insane. I don't care what no one says about that deal. Biggie Smalls made good, good music, good storytelling, things for street, cool. But Pac had to, had to, was more, was a more serious rapper. He rapped about problems in the black community, like a revolutionary. You know, had his, you know, the other the gangster type stuff on there. But his music had more content. It was more there, for, you know, for you to, to suck up. Now we look at now. He been dead. Let's see. About 25 years now, he's been dead. His music still flows on and on and on. Biggie music flows too, but I tell you like this here, you can go anywhere around the damn world. Anywhere around, I don't care what continent you want. You look at graffiti in the wall, you're gonna see Tupac name on the wall. 
Not Biggie Smalls doing the wall. Now my fair peace.